Harry McClary's Catawall Paper by Lindley Dodd. Read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. With a twitch of his tail and a purposeful paw, down by the river crept Scarflow's claw. If you do it. He woke up a lizard, he startled a bee, and he bothered a blackbird high in a tree. Higher and higher he sneakily snuck, but up in the branches he suddenly struck. He yelled. Harry McClary was eating his meal. Jelly meat, biscuits, a snippet of veal. All of a sudden he heard a strange sound. A yowling, a wailing, that echoed around. Yep, 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 said Harry McClary, and off he went. Hercules Morse was asleep in a glade, with his tail in the sun and his head in the shade. Then came the sound that echoed around. Woof, said Hercules Morse, <laughs> and off he went. Bottomley Potts was rolling about, with his feet in the air and his tongue hanging out. Then came the sound that echoed around. Row, 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 said Bottomley Potts, and off he went. Muffin Maclay was having a bath in the old wooden tub at the side of the path. Then came the sound that echoed around. Ruff, ruff, said Muffin Maclay, and off he went. Bits of Maloney was having a scratch as he lay in the sun in the strawberry patch. Then came the sound that echoed around. Whoa, 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 whoa said Bits of Maloney, and off he went. Schnitzel von Crumb was digging a hole in his favourite spot by the passion fruit pole. Then came the sound that echoed around. Hi, Mummy. Yip, yip, said Schnitzel von Crumb, and off he went. <coughs> Puffing and panting, impatient to see, together they come to the foot of the tree. They sniffed and they snuffled, they bustled around and they saw what was making that terrible sound. Yip, yip, said Schnitzel von Crumb. Bow, wow, 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 said Bitsa Maloney. Ruff, ruff, said Muffin Maclay. Row, 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 said Bottomley Potts. Woof, said Hercules Morse. Yip, 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 said Harry McClary. And... <coughs> said Scarface McClaw. The din was so awful that up hill and down you could hear the cacophony all over the town. Miss Plum brought a ladder and climbed up the tree. She rescued old Scarface. At last he was free. With a flick of his tail and a shake of each paw, off at a gallop went Scarface Claw. And back to their business and Donaldson's Dairy went all of the others with Harry McClary. If you enjoyed this book, we've got lots of other lovely Harry McClary books and lots of other books to share too. Please hit subscribe.